okay so in this question it is given to us that pt is tangent to the circle this pt is tangent to the circle at t where t is the point of contact also it is given that angle abc is equal to 70 degrees so let us mark this angle angle abc this is that angle so this is given to us as 70 degrees okay what else angle acb is 50 degrees acb this is complete angle acb it is now given to us that the value is 50 degrees right so now we have to calculate these three angles angle bct angle bat and angle apt right so let us one by one mark these angles and let us try to find the values so angle cbt angle cbt so for that let us join b and t first right so this complete angle i need to find red angle okay so if you look at this question very carefully you will see that this angle is already marked as 90 degrees okay so now what we see we see a chord tc a chord tc right where t is what t is the point of contact of the tangent pt which means that your tc should become the diameter because only one chord is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact and that is what that is the diameter correct so now if ct becomes your diameter then angle cbt becomes angle in the semicircle right so directly using the property that angle in the semicircle is always equal to 90 degrees we get the answer of the first question right angle cbt should be equal to 90 degrees right okay so if now we know that angle cbt is completely 90 degrees so this portion this portion should be how much since we know that the other portion angle abc is 70 the remaining portion should be 20 degrees right let us just keep it maybe we can use it sometime okay now what about bat bat let us join again a and t so we have to talk about this angle angle bat so to find this angle what do you need you will have to calculate few more angles before this okay so again if you look at this then this complete angle is anyways 90 degrees okay no problem with this so now if somehow you can get the value of either this angle or the angle that we want in the initial phase okay so to do that this 20 degrees will help us look at the chord at or the segment at this segment at is forming two angles angle abt and angle act now using the property that the angle in the same segments are equal we will get that this measure should also be how much this measure should be 20 degrees because we already know that abt is equal to 20 degrees right now if abt act is equal to 20 degrees the remaining angle bct should be how much it should be 30 degrees because we already know that the complete angle acb is equal to 50 degrees right okay again look at another segment tb this segment tb is also forming two angles angle tcb which is equal to 30 degrees and angle bat which we have to find so these two angles should be equal according to the theorem right so we will again get our second answer angle bat is equal to angle bct which is equal to 30 degrees this is our second question, second part now let us move on to the third part angle apt apt we have to talk about this angle okay so to calculate this angle the easiest process would be to look at the triangle pbt in this triangle pbt if you try to apply 
the angle sum property of triangle you can write something like this angle apt can i write angle apt or okay let us start with angle bpt angle bpt plus angle ptb plus angle tbp these three angles on addition should give us 180 degrees this is the angle sum property right but now what are what values are known to us this we need to find bpt right what about ptb ptb can be broken down into two angles of which the values are known it can be written as angle ptc plus angle ctb right let us break it down into these two portions also what about angle tbp angle tbp is already known to be how much 20 degrees so this is taken care of we need not worry about this part let us go back to angle tbp which is broken into two parts so ptc is again easy ptc is already given to us as 90 degrees if ct something is 90 degrees the other part is also 90 degrees which means that ptc will become 90 degrees right what about ctb now ctb is comparable to which part ctb is comparable to cab okay again if you look at the segment cb this segment cb is forming two angles angle ctb which we need and angle cab which we can find first okay so this complete angle cat is equal to 90 degrees we have already seen that because it is angle in the semicircle now we have already shown in the second part that angle bat is equal to 30 degrees which means that the remaining portion of angle a should be how much 60 degrees right so this gives, gives us the second part angle ctb angle ctb is equal to 60 degrees because ctb is equal to cab which is 60 right so what happens to the equation now now the equation should look like angle bpt plus 90 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 20 degrees should be equal to 180 degrees this on calculation will give you angle bpt is equal to just 10 degrees but now bpt bpt and apt are the same angles right so i can also write angle apt is equal to 10 degrees this is your solution for the third part